So let's look at where we can access these tools inside of ArcGIS Desktop. So let's first take a look at Arc Catalog. So go ahead and I pull up Arc Catalog here. There's a couple of places I can go to access the tools. You can see over here I have Arc Toolbox open. And inside of our toolbox, under the conversion tools, you'll see a 2CAD tool set. And under the toolcad 2CAD tool set, you'll see Add CAD Fields and Export to CAD. So these are the two tools we were talking about in the lectures. And we can access them here. So the Add CAD Fields tool, this is what we can use to prepare our data by adding additional fields to the attribute tables that we can then populate with values that will translate over into CAD. So things like the CAD layer name, the line type, the uh, line weight, the color, all of these kind of properties that are CAD properties that can be pushed over uh, when we run that export. And these, this tool will add those fields to an attribute table. You can choose which one. You want the entity properties or layer properties or text properties, whichever uh, fields you wish to add, you can do that with this tool, and then you have to go back in and populate it with the appropriate values that you want to see in the CAD file that you're going to create. So here's the export CAD tool. So you can see here I can put in multiple feature classes to convert. I can choose the output type that I want. And as you can see, there's a full list. I can go to DGN, that would be MicroStation. AutoCAD uh, release 14, 2000, those are DWGs, there's DXF, R14, 2000, DWG 2004, corresponding DXF, and so on, up to the most uh, current version that ArcGIS can use, which is the 2010. Do remember that it, 2010 is not the most current DWG version. So uh, but that's the, the latest one that, auto, that uh, ArcGIS will export to. Then we choose where we're going to save the drawing file to. Do we want to ignore paths in the table? So if our attribute tables have specific path names, we can ignore those. Uh, do we want to append to an existing file? So if we have existing DWGs that we want to add data to, we can choose that there. And then if we have that seed file that may define things like blocks and existing drawing layers and those kind of things, we can choose to, to do that here. So those are the two tools, and you can see we access those in our toolbox. I can also come into the, the catalog tree over here and choose a feature class and just right click on it, go down to export, and you'll see 2CAD as an option. And this is going to access the export to CAD tool as well. So it's the same tool we get to in our toolbox. But most of us don't spend our time working in inside of um, our catalog. We spend a good bit of our time working inside of ArcMap. So let's take a look at ArcMap and actually do a conversion from there. So I'm going to close our catalog and bring up our map. And what I have here is a map of the sewer system for a city. And I've been asked by a local engineer that's doing a project in this area to get a copy of our GIS data, but he'd like to have it in CAD so that he can work with it with his surveyors and the rest of his design people. So I've got some options on how I can convert the data. I can, of course, go into our toolbox, just like I could in our catalog, and access the tools there. Or I can just right-click on one of the layers I want to convert and go down to data and export to CAD. So this brings up the export to CAD tool, just like we were seeing in our catalog and in our toolbox, same tool. So it's gone ahead and populated it with that layer that I right-clicked on. I can add additional layers. So manholes are great, but they don't give me everything I need. I want to add sewer lines. And then maybe the parcels to add is a base map layer for the, the engineering firm to reference. This engineering firm has told me that they're running uh, AutoCAD 2007. So I'm going to change my DWG type down to 2007 to make sure it's compatible with uh, their version of AutoCAD. And then I'm going to go in here and choose to save it in a location. And I'm going to call it this drawing sewer map. And click Save. Now it's gone ahead and set it as a DWG because that's what I had chosen as my output type here. 
I don't have a seed file. The, the engineering firm didn't give me a seed file that contains any standard blocks or whatnot that they have. So I'm not going to, to put that in there. And then I'm going to click OK and run this. So it's now running this uh, export. Now, one word of warning. Uh, I have experienced problems when running this if I have my geoprocessing enabled to run in the background. Okay. It, it kicks up an error, not all the time, but very often. So you may need to disable background processing when you run this export. Now, maybe Ezra will come out with a service pack to fix this, but, but who knows. Okay, so it's completed that export. I'm going to close the geoprocessing window, and you see it's added that new DWG and all of its associated layers and feature classes to my map. So I go through and I turn off all of the other GIS layers, right here and turn off uh, those others, I'm left with the AutoCAD data. Visualizing, see if I turn off the points, turns off those, turn off polylines, and go through and turn all of these off, and you'll see them disappear. So it's created that DWG for me. And if I go into the catalog window to the location where I could save that to, which in my case was under CGIS test, you can see there's the sewer map DWG I created. Now let's look at this in AutoCAD and make sure it created the drawing properly. So I've opened up AutoCAD. Now I'm going to open a file. I'll make sure I'm in the right place. There's the test and there's the sewer map drawing I just created. So I'm going to click on that and click open. It's going to throw a warning that tells me that this file wasn't created by Autodesk software. Obviously, we created it in ArcGIS, so I'm just going to have it continue opening. And boom, there it is. We can see there is the data we just converted. We see our parcels, we see the green lines representing the sewer lines, and you can see little white dots. That's representing the manholes. Those came in as, as standard AutoCAD point features, and you'll notice they don't show up very well. Uh, that's just because that's how AutoCAD handles points. Now I can adjust that somewhat. I can play with something called PD mode and change that to, let's see, I think three should work. Okay, so now there are white X's showing up where those manholes are. Now if I'd had a seed file that had blocks for manholes, I could have used that and they would have come in with a specific symbol, maybe a round filled circle or a triangle, who knows, whatever that the engineer wanted to use to represent manholes, I could have done that with. You can also see, if I bring up my layer manager, that it brought in the individual feature class as layers. And if I, again, I had hit added CAD fields to my data beforehand and populated that, I could have broken it out. I could have the sewer lines uh, populated by the size and, and type or a manufacturer of the sewer line if I wanted to. Uh, but I would have to have added those fields in and we would have read that in as the conversion. Let's change the manhole so they're red. They stand out a little bit more. You can see that turn to red. And let's change the parcel lines to the orange. Okay. And close my, my layer manager. And you can see that my data is in there. That's in CAD. I can edit it now. I can move, delete, do all those things we do in CAD. Here, it's directly in AutoCAD. Okay. So there was kind of an example of, of how some of these conversion tools work and what they do and, and how you access them. So we'll go ahead and go back into the lectures now and look at some other ways CAD users can access GIS data without having to import and export.